Welcome to the American Dream, a show that started right here in San Diego, America's finest city, that now spans positive media all across the country, real stories in real neighborhoods. Hi, I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and here's the American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream, a real show, not a reality show. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture. It's not just about what you're living in, but the community you're going to live in. High rise, luxury living. People are the vehicle. People are the connection. People are the expansion. It's the American Dream. Welcome aboard. We are in downtown Waxahachie, Texas, about 25 miles southwest of downtown Dallas. Let's go see why this town has adopted the slogan, Waxahachie, a place in your heart. The crown jewel of our town is the Ellis County Courthouse, completed in 1897. With its beautiful pink granite columns and uniquely carved faces, it is one of the most photographed courthouses in Texas. Now we're off to the Dove's Nest restaurant, the hottest spot in town for lunch. So we've just arrived at the Dove's Nest. Come on in, I can't wait to show you this wonderful place. Let's head to the restaurant in the back, but we get to stroll through the beautiful shop first, which has lots of home decor, clothing, handmade jewelry. It's just a great place to shop. We're here at the Dove's Nest restaurant with the owner, Cindy Burge. So great Hi, to Melissa. see you. Melissa. Glad to have you here today. Tell us a little bit about the Dove's Nest restaurant and how it started. And We opened almost 30 years ago. I mean, we've watched the town grow and we've grown and we probably feed um, 150, 200 people a day and oh, several wow. hundred on the weekends. So uh, it's just a, a great, great spot that's been a I love of the community and like you it guys and your family and it's absolutely now we're seeing third and fourth generations you know growing up and oh coming goodness. to lunch here so it's it's a special place and everything on the menu is delicious but what would you recommend for dessert uh chocolate bourbon pecan pie oh but my we're, goodness. we're very well known for buttermilk pie too <laughs> well we're so glad you took the time to meet with us today and if you're in waxahachie please come by the dove's nest you will not regret it Next, I get to give you a sneak peek of the Christmas creations for the Festival of Trees. The Festival of Trees is an event that's held every year the weekend before Thanksgiving, and it benefits the Habitat for Humanity of Ellis County. Our community really comes together to help each other. The First United Methodist Church on Marvin is letting them host their event there this year. Local businesses and community members have come together to create some unique items that will be bid on at the event. The money raised will help build homes in our community for families that qualify for the program. Waxahachie is known for its beautiful historic home tours. There's one in June, which is the Gingerbread Trail Tour of Homes, and the historic Christmas home tour, which is in December. Now we're gonna head down the street to see a Queen Anne and Folk Victorian home. So we're here at the home of Tom and Kelly Hale, and they have graciously agreed to let us see their beautiful home and all the special touches inside. Let's go take a look with Kelly. Kelly has always had a great eye for detail, and she is one of the local designers in town, and she is with Multitudes with her business partner, Krista Bartos. When we bought the house, it had a wraparound porch, and the half of it was just a shuttered porch. And these are some of the original shutters from that porch that we just repurposed here as a decoration. And another way that we repurposed is we used the wood, the old beadboard, all throughout the house in all the rooms. Many of the rooms had the old beadboard. And we also used it on this island. So we found the iron piece and then they used the old wood and just literally built my island right inside the iron piece. I love what they've done. They've made the space modern, but yet you've got the elements of the historic yes, home features. Sure. Kelly, thank you so much for letting us view your beautiful home. I can't think of a better way to end our time in Waxahachie, a place in your heart, Texas. 
Until our next adventure, I'm Melissa Jones, your host with the American Dream. Thanks for watching. When you think of Dallas, what springs to mind? Oil wells, cowboys, ranches? If that's the case, then you're in for a surprise. Come and join me on, on the journey to discover what Dallas has to offer. I'm Steve Killingback, your host, and this is the American Dream Dallas. Let's start our journey on the Katy Trail. It's an abandoned section of the Missouri-Kansas-Texas Railway, which dates back to 1865. The Cady Trail itself was formed in around 2000, and it's become one of Dallas's most popular attractions with over 2 million visitors a year. Not only you can walk your dog, you can ride your bike, you can run, you can also stop in several places and have food and drinks. The trail itself runs from downtown Dallas through to Highland Park and up into the SMU campus, about three and a half miles. Let's go and check out one of those places for one of the best margaritas in town. One of the best places in Dallas to get a best margarita is right here at the Katy Trail Ice House. Great place for burgers, Texas barbecue, and of course those great margaritas. A little secret for you, I've turned this into one of my little traditions every year. Every Christmas Eve, great place to come sit by one of these fires with a great big margarita and toast in the holiday. Running adjacent to the Katy Trail is one of the most desirable areas in Dallas, Turtle Creek. As you can see, they're surrounded with beautiful parks, lakes, and fountains. It's also great public art, sculptures, and a little known fact, the only theater ever designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in one of the last buildings that he ever saw completed, the Kathleen Wright Theater. Also adjacent to this area is a whole selection of very beautiful and luxurious high-end residential condo buildings. Let's go and take a look at one of those and see what it's like to live on Turtle Creek. So I want to welcome you to the Warrington on Turtle Creek. It's one of the most premium high-rise buildings there is up here. Uh, this beautiful unit is two bedroom, two and a half bathroom, around 2,500 square feet. One of the best selling features of this house is the terraces. As you can see, this one overlooks Turtle Creek and the Katy Trail and downtown. We have two more overlooking 180 degree views of all of Dallas. It really is something special. We're on the 21st floor. So looking down over here, we can see the ponds, the lakes, Turtle Creek, the Katy Trail, out to Highland Park and across to downtown Dallas. Thanks for joining me today on the first leg of the journey to discover all that Dallas has to offer. I'm Steve Killenbach, your host for the American Dream. Hi, I'm Rosa Collins, your host for American Dream TV. Today, I want to show you Legacy West. It's a 255 acre mixed use development and it's a high-end open-air shopping entertainment center. It's a city within a city. People come here to play, shop, dine, and stay. So let's go take a tour. If shopping is your guilty pleasure, then Legacy West is just the place for you. Legacy West is so popular with the locals, the tourists, and the influencers. Living here means living life to the absolute fullest with spectacular views and extraordinary amenities. Let's pop into Darna's, one of my favorite Mediterranean restaurants, and grab an appetizer. 
We've seen so many shops and restaurants, but did you know that there are villas just west of here? There's approximately 127 custom homes in this urban style community. The development is known as the Villas at Legacy West. They feature one, two, and three story detached single family villas, ranging from 1,900 square feet to 3,600 square feet. So we've seen a lot of the high-end shops. Now I want to introduce you to two local-owned companies, Rustic Cuff and Read Between the Lines. Rustic Cuff became popular when Oprah made one of her bracelets, Oprah's favorite things of 2016. Let's go look at some jewelry. with Christina, the assistant buyer for Read Between the Lines, one of the local shops here in Legacy West that I love to support. Christina, tell us how Read Between the Lines all started. Well, we started with a line of greeting cards and art prints. Um, all the expressions are original to our founder and creative director, Melinda Jones. And from there, we expanded to notebooks, notepads, and we found ourselves uh, during quarantine and the height of COVID with a lot of time on our hands, like most people. And we really delved into the development of our candles, which are now our best sellers. They are the best seller. Let's go smell some. They have great names too. And they smell so good. We've come up with as many candles as we can think of that we all want to have in our own homes and we try to make them as clean as possible because we're big fans of uh, animals and we want them to be safe for animals and kids. So all of our candles are free of parabens and phthalates, things that can burn off and put a, sort of not great things into the air. And they have an all cotton wick and they're a blend of soy and coconut wax. You're gonna get a great burn time out of them as well. I love it because they're not overpowering. I love all the scents. It was hard to choose just one. And it's so fun to watch them make it in the back of the store. So I highly recommend this for a holiday gift, friend gift, if you haven't already bought one. Come see Read Between the Lines. You'll find so many cute, unique gifts here. Thank you for your time, Christine. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm here at Haywire. It's one of the great options for a restaurant in Legacy West. Haywire has three levels, and we are on the third level, which is open air uh, dining, seating, but it's also covered. Also has this fabulous airstream in the back and the tents over the tables. So much fun, true glamping. And you can see the live entertainment off the balcony over here. Let's go take a look. So I thought I'd end the day at Taverna, have a nice cocktail. It's been a fun day of shopping. There's so many things to see, so many restaurants to visit. I hope you had a great day. I'm Rosa Collins with American Dream TV. I'll see you next time. I'm Jeremy Whitaker, your host for American Dream TV Selling Dallas. And today we have something very special to you coming straight from the heart of downtown Dallas. I'm standing in front of the Windspear Opera House, which is part of the AT&T Performing Arts Center. And tonight we're gonna get a special treat and learn all about how this innovative organization is helping change the cultural landscape of Dallas through inclusivity, community participation, and using local artists as well as artists from around the nation. Tonight, we learn all about the Arts District. Hey, Warren. So tonight, like I promised you, we have a special guest with us. We have the president and CEO of the AT&T Performing Arts Center, Warren Tranquata. Good to Warren, see you. thank you for joining us today. I'm excited to be here uh, and share with uh, your viewers a little bit about the at and Performing Arts Center and yes. of course the Dallas Arts District, the largest arts district in the country. Oh my gosh, well I hate to brag, but even the arts districts in Texas are bigger. Tell our viewers who else is here, What? who calls this facility home? Sure, so from a facility standpoint, first we've got Strauss Square right behind us which is the uh, outdoor concert venue that we have. Great place to watch a concert or be part of a community event under the stars. 
We have Strauss Square where we're standing. There's putting greens, lots of uh, cool places to take photos, and we do free concerts and events outside as well. Behind us, we have the Flora Cantina, the newest and hottest uh, fast casual restaurant in the city, and across the street, the Wiley Theater. And this is all part of the Dallas Arts District, which is so much bigger than that. It's really true, and I can vouch for Flora. It's really good. So you can get arts and food. What more do you want? What do you see the AT&T Performing Arts Center doing next? Well, Jeremy, I think our, our most important thing is giving more reasons for people to come back, especially mm -hmm. post-pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, that has been a challenge, welcoming people back. Our priorities right now are adding more content, more diverse content that will appeal to a wider range of audiences, and really working to improve the customer experience so that every visit here is a truly special evening. So, as an artist myself, one thing that I would love for you to share with all of us is how does the center, AT&T Performing Arts Center, support local artists in their pursuits? Sure, there's a few ways. It starts with our education programs. That's how we help the uh, the youngest artists working through the uh, through uh, the Dallas School District and other uh, other opportunities locally. Um, in addition, we have a wonderful program called the Elevator Project, where mm. we see new work for artists, uh, often on social justice themes that are uh, um, interesting multimedia uh, performances that we help happen at uh, primarily at the Wiley Theater across the street. Um, third way, we provide grants to artistic organizations. And finally, we hire local artists for most of our free events that we do in the park. Something else I know our viewers are gonna wanna know is what's the best way for them to get involved? How do they get tickets? How do they know what's going on here? Sure, there's a few ways. The easiest is to go to www.attpac.org. That's our website and you'll see everything for the center there. There's also a culture calendar there where you can see um, other events that are happening across the entire city. Another place to go on every social media outlet, every Monday we post a wonderful segment called This Week at the AT&T Performing Arts Center. It says what's going on for the week, or even easier, just come down to the floor of Cantina for happy hour and you'll figure it out pretty quick. AT&T Performing Arts Center, Warren, we really appreciate your time tonight oh, thanks and so all the information. Any final statements you'd like to make? Oh, I just want to welcome everyone to come down to the Dallas Arts District, whether you're coming to our center or any of our neighbors. There's always so much going on here. It's a really vibrant urban scene and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeremy Whitaker for American Dream TV Selling Dallas. We really appreciate you joining us here at the AT&T Performing Arts Center and learning about all the opportunities that they provide for Dallas and its residents. As Romero Bruto once said, art is too important not to share. Until next time, see you later. Welcome to Fort Worth. We're in the historic stockyards where the old meets the west. As Gene Autry said, this is where the concrete ends and the west begins. Joining us today to feature the preservation of this historic area is our 43rd mayor, Mike Moncrief. He's also a former judge and state senator, as well as my brother, who is a professor at one of the flagship universities here at Texas Christian University. Mayor Moncrief, we're at the Hotel Drover, which has over 20 accolades and over 300 press segments. This is a superbly built hotel, but I think it's more than that. It's a lot more than that. Um, it, it is a, a destination, both in Fort Worth and really throughout the country. It's got national recognition, as you pointed out. But the, the people who work here, the, the team uh, that make up the Drover, are a lot more than just employees doing their job. Everyone from the valet when you first pull up the front door uh, to, um, to security when, when you're, you're here with your family. Um, and each one of them are not just employees, they're ambassadors. You only get one opportunity to make a good first impression. That's what my dad told me a long time ago. And they certainly do that because that's the first person that, that they see. And Craig Cavalier, who runs this show, 
uh, does an outstanding job of making sure he's got the right folks in the right place at the right time. Hotel Drover offers Texas-inspired cuisine and luxury. We have the 97 West Kitchen and Bar, and we're just a few steps away from the John Wayne Museum, championship rodeo events, and the stockyards. We're in the heartbeat of the stockyards. For those looking for a little bit of Texas charm, or a whole lot of Texas charm, this place comes with custom furnishings that showcase Texas artisans and custom art that is available for patrons that come by. Well, it's, a, it's an immersion into a Western heritage that has been here for generations. And, you know, you might not have a pair of boots when you arrive, but chances are you're probably gonna have a pair by the time you leave. And while you're at it, you can pick up a hat to go with it as well. Then you can do both of those right here in the hotel at Lucchese's store over here. We stand here at Mule Alley, the newest addition to the iconic Stockyards Fort Worth Historic District. This is a unique place. We have over two million visitors a year here that, that want to enjoy the immersion into a Western experience. Uh, it's, um, it's a wonderful place to teach your kids about the history of, of cattle and cowboys, certainly cowgirls. Uh, it, it's also the home of the only Longhorn cattle drive twice a day in the country. Uh, that's something that is standard operational procedure here in the stockyards. It happens regardless of weather and it's something for you all to enjoy while you're here. Mule Alley houses over 180,000 square feet of retail, restaurants, and office spaces, but there's more to it. There's a lot more to it. We've got Tannehills, we've got Billy Bob's, we've got multiple restaurants and, and venues that are for your entertainment. It's also, this is a historic place. Right up the street, the same Exchange Avenue, Yellowstone was, was filmed, and we transformed that into that period. It was exciting, Fort Worth was all in. Uh, it was a, a major undertaking and, a, and a, an exciting moment in our city's history. Mayor Moncrief and the Stockyards are an inspiration and a reminder to saddle up, take the adventure, harness that Western spirit, and live life to the fullest. We're here in Fort Worth, Texas, proud to be. Welcome to another episode of American Dream TV Dallas. I'm your host, Hallie McCrory, and today I'm going to be giving you a deep dive into one of the most buzzed about homes in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I am so excited to introduce you guys to my two new friends. This is Emily Hewitt of A Well-Dressed Home. This is her personal house. And Ben Coates of Coates Homes, one of the most well-known builders in all of Dallas and we're gonna take a tour of Home Sweet Hewitt. We'll start in the living room here at Home Sweet Hewitt. We left it open to the kitchen. It's the most used space in the house, so it was very important to us to keep it open. We did Calicutta London honed marble on every countertop surface in the home, except for my son's bathroom. So this is the bar space. This is the bar and the working pantry, believe it or not. Behind you, we have the bar. More Calcutta London marble. Love it. With the integrated sink with the, with the marble, which is really, really unique. Mm -hmm. I think those are the things we always talk about are the metaphysics of yeah. the house. <laughs> right. What does that mean? It's like the things you don't really know you're looking at, but you leave the house and you're like, gosh, something about that house just felt unique. It's little details like this. <laughs> yeah. 
where she took it next level is doing this Dutch door. It's just these little details when you look at it, you're like, that's something different. Yes. And I think anybody can do that. Anybody can go take their door, install a Dutch door, and put some different hardware and lighting fixtures in a house mm -hmm. to really jazz it up. That's and right. You do that throughout the house, which makes it pretty unique. Thank you. So this room has three sides of light, right? You've got the French doors, you've got the, the windows in the front of the house, mm -hmm. and then you've got this opening going into the foyer. So mm -hmm. that's really like some of the magic that goes into designing a room that is flooded with light. We could turn all these lights off mm -hmm. and you'd still be able to work in here, which I think okay. is really unique. I've almost never seen a fireplace in a foyer. That's what makes custom home building really unique is you get to do things that nobody else has. And I can confidently say, we've never done this. <laughs> the movie was huge on sight lines. So that's just lining up center points in the room, mm -hmm. making sure doors and windows are all symmetrical. With that, mm -hmm. we're able to line up this amazing double-sided fireplace that goes into the family room, but it's also mm -hmm. aligned to the staircase. When designing this room, again, we paneled the walls, <laughs> um, paneling and wallpaper. But our jumping off point was actually this vintage rug. So we pulled the colors out of this rug. And if you'll notice, we did do a very, very soft contrasting lavender trim um, on the doors as well. So what everyone loves about Beckham's bathroom is, of course, the shower. Yes. They say it looks like a very like New York style penthouse yes. type of shower. <laughs> He's got the dark marble and the arched opening. Um, but something that's super unique is he also has a soapstone countertop with an integrated sink. But instead of having a mirror over the vanity, he has an oval window. <laughs> Emily, tell me a little bit more about what made you choose Coates Homes over other builders in the area. We interviewed a handful of builders, I believe three or four to be exact, and Coates Homes was one of them. And we just felt the most comfortable with them and um, knew that they had a great reputation. And so um, that's the direction we went. What makes you guys different from other people in your industry? What makes you different from other home builders? Or what makes you different from other designers? So at Coats Homes, we have 50 people on staff um, and we work like a commercial construction company. What does that mean? We put a project manager and a superintendent usually in a, in, as a team on everyone's house, right? So we feel like our clients are getting more than the average home builder mm -hmm. because they're getting more staff members or more team members building the house. Thank you guys so much for giving me a tour of Home Sweet Hewitt and Emily for inviting me into your home. I know our viewers are going to love it. Thank you guys for joining us on another episode of American Dream Dallas. Again, I'm your host, Hallie McCrory, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Home Sweet Hewitt and taking a tour. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season and I'll see you on the next episode. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show produced from America's finest city but shot in the heart of your neighborhoods. Don't forget positive media when the world really needs it. Follow us on social media at the American Dream TV. See you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American dream.